Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this application error with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your PC and then check. Do not ignore this step. Restart and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or Windows security. So if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, privacy and security. Go to Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browser apps, and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed. So in my case, it's in C drive. Open the Steam folder, Steam apps folder. Open the common folder, open the game folder. Select this game exe file, click on open. And once added, now type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings. Allow another app. Click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again. And then add the game exe file. Click on open and then click on add. In my case, I have already added. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, the next step is to try these in launch options. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and in the launch option, uh, you can try this. This is provided in the video description that is dash dash no underscore exclusive underscore full screen. Now you can close this and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Then you can try this dash dash config space very low in launch option. This is also provided in the video description. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Then you can try DX11. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. Try DX12. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this. Follow the next step. Now, the next step is to uncheck Steam compatibility mode. Now, for this, type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam. Open file location. And then make a right click on Steam over here. Go to properties. And over here, go to this tab. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box and then hit apply. Click on OK. And then you have to restart Steam. So exit Steam and then you can relaunch Steam and then you can relaunch the game. Next step is to Epic Games Launcher. Um, update Epic Games Launcher. So if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, uh, you can go to Epic Games Launcher settings and then you can, if you see the update option, you can update your Epic Games Launcher and then Restart Epic Games Launcher and then check. So go to settings over here. Click on settings. And over here you can see settings, go to settings. And over here if you see install or update option, you can update it. So I don't see any update, but if you see update option, update it. And here you can see update. So update your Epic Games Launcher. Click on yes to allow and let the update complete and then you can check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and then make a double click over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working. This time you can make sure this is unchecked. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box. Try disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, relaunch the game and follow the next step. Now, the next step is to clear Steam download cache. Now for this, you can go to Steam and then click on Steam over here. Settings, downloads. Click on clear cache, click on OK. Re this will relaunch Steam login and then relaunch the game. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. 
So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here, your operating system, then click on start search. And you will find the latest graphic card driver at the very top. You can click on get download and then you can download it. And then once the download is complete, you can run this exe file, click on yes to allow, click on OK. Then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next. Put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. Once the clean installation is done, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card, make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. This is important. So type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings, add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder once again wherever the game is installed. Open the game folder and then select the game exe file and once added, find the game in the list. Now, one, now you can click on the game over here and select high performance. You will see your graphic card now relaunch the game. Desktop users connect your HDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Hardware and sound, click on power options. Over here in my case, I have only balanced, but in your case, if you see uh, power saver like this, you can select power saver and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Now you can even try balance, relaunch the game and then check. You can even try high performance. But first of all, try power saver, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Disable or enable accelerate, uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, go to advanced graphic settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check. If this is already on, then you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Disable integrated graphic card. So make a right click on the start menu, go to device manager. If your computer has a dual graphic card, then you can expand this display adapter. Here you can see integrated graphic card. In my case, it's Intel. You can make a right click and disable device and then relaunch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, you can make a right click and enable the device again. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working, install Visual C++ file. Now for this, go to the official Microsoft website. You can search in Google and go to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. You have to install both the files. So click on it, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once done, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can make a right on the game. Select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, turn it off. If you if this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience running, you can, uh, no, or NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off overlay right. and close overlay application. Uh, also, do not overclock. You can set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, etc. running, you can close it. If you have any third-party services or application running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box. Click on system configuration, go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. 
make sure that you put a check over here and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM so you can check total RAM in Windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your RAM and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of uh, uh, like when you update the BIOS, uh, you can go to uh, like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo uh, website. Select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So make a record in the game, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try using another SSD, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the application error with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.